6.03 now. A lot of people are going to be waking up to a mess outside their doors this morning. So that means a long day of cleanup is expected after those severe storms yesterday and overnight. Well, Delaware County was hit especially hard. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Rosti Matei is live in Woodland to show us some of the damage. Good morning, Ross. Good morning, Jim and Janelle. Yeah, it's been a really busy past 12 hours. And now that the sun is rising, we can give you a better view of some of the damage left behind here in Delaware County. Starting with that large tree you see that's toppled over right in the middle of the road. If you look on the left side, you can see it fell directly on someone's fence. And that fence just buckled underneath the weight of that tree. And now this whole road is shut down because they haven't been able to clean this up just yet. So this is what neighbors are going to be waking up to and having to deal with as they try to make their morning commute. And we've been speaking with neighbors uh, last night and during the overnight hours. And many of them tell us that a lot of this damage you see happened in just about the span of 30 seconds. So it was a really powerful 30 seconds, and then they dealt with some of the rain afterwards. But uh, yeah, just incredible to see some of these images. Now, take a look at some of the other damage that we've seen here in Delaware County. High winds are really to blame here, taking down trees left and right in the Ridley Park Woodland area. One of them took the sidewalk along with it. We spoke with one resident who was having dinner with his family when they heard that crackling sound of a tree splitting in half before it fell right across his yard and eventually crushed his truck. Another neighbor says he actually had to save his mother from the storm. My mom was worried about her plants, right? And all of a sudden she opens the door, everything comes swinging back. But I had to push her in, like I had to force her in because if not, the wind would have taken her. It was bad. <laughs> Yeah, glad to hear they were both okay. And now when the storm finally passed, that same man you just heard from saw this fire mixed with some downed trees and power lines. While crews were clearing those trees, some neighbors were dealing with power outages due to a blown transformer. And that's something we've heard from uh, several neighbors. We've heard reports even this morning of houses catching on fire uh, because of some downed power lines that were connected with some trees. And this storm actually packed the second punch with the torrential rain coming down. We also saw another house and spoke with some firefighters who responded to it, saying that so much water, water had gathered on their roof that they had a partial collapse. Thankfully, that family was okay as well. But uh, it's just all representative of the big cleanup that is ahead in the hours to come. Guys, back to you in the studio. What a big mess. Thank you, Ross, for that reporting.